The other weekend we went out fishing and we used our Eskimo Quick Fish 5 insulated pop-up shelter. We found out a broken fiberglass spar. We're not really sure how it broke, but we had to replace it nonetheless. So as you can see, here's the culprit. We've got one rod split right in half. So it's still functioning, but it's not going to take long before it breaks right apart. A quick search of the Eskimo site brought me to Artisam.com, a company that, among other brands, supplies Eskimo replacement parts. Using the Artisam parts catalog, I was able to find a product number for the spar that we needed, amongst all the other products and replacement parts that are available for the different Quick Fish and Eskimo brands. However, it didn't appear that Artisam shipped to Canada. So after some searching, I found a link to the support section of the page under contact us and then by following the frequently asked questions. At the bottom of the questions list, there's a hyperlink to the three Canadian distributors that are authorized by Artisam. For American viewers, you're able to order directly from Artisam. For Canadian viewers, we have to utilize these three distributors. So just to be safe, we ordered two of these fiberglass replacement spars from Panair Mechanical in Warman, Saskatchewan. One of three licensed artisan distributors in Canada. Uh, they carry all sorts of parts for Minn Kota and Ion, Eskimo, all that group of companies there. On the one end is the ball socket that goes into the hubs and the other end just has this protective nub on the end of the fiberglass spar. It goes into the receiving pockets. So replacing this is actually pretty easy once you have the actual replacement pieces. Uh, essentially what you're doing is just going to loosen the nut on this hub, remove this washer, and then the ball socket end of the fiberglass spar rests in there. And to remove this whole fiberglass rod, we just have to slide the whole mechanism out through the hole, as you'll see. Just takes a 10 millimeter socket to undo this retaining bolt. And just some upward pressure on the fiberglass rods will move the retaining washer out. You can see that this ball socket end is just resting into the little channel here. So, without we'll puncture a hole here, we'll just try to slide this broken spar through. I figured this was going to happen. <laughs> Uh, I should probably be wearing gloves because I don't really want to put this fiberglass through my fingers. But where's the fun in that? There. All removed. So we just have to slide in the new spar down into the receiving end there and into the hub. Put the hub retaining washer in place. Get the lock nut started. 10 millimeter socket again. Ratchet it down till it's top. And there we go. We're ready to go fishing again.